Hello there everyone, your fluffy armchair admiral Latter is back with some more Transport Fever 2. <laughs> right, in this episode we are going to uh, have a look at our lines, uh, the ones that we built long time ago, the ones that we've set up uh, very, very, uh, well, uh, very far uh, away when it comes to town, uh, when it comes to time. <laughs> right, anyway. Uh, yeah, we are going to, to have a look at, uh, at various uh, towns and cities that we've connected uh, in the past. And uh, it's, it's about a good time to, to make some small review about um, how different lines perform. Obviously, I got plenty of lines that are actually not making me any money. They are actually on a big loss. Uh, so we will try to address some of those issues in today's video. Uh, so I will limit myself to, to and, and try to not set up any, any more lines. However, I might eventually do that. Uh, our main goal is going to be upgrades and that is the title of today's video right so we will go on to the uh, east side of the map uh, because that's uh, that's the area where we haven't been for a while and for today's episode and for the start of today's episode i picked up a salt kirby and moontorp uh, because that that looks like a very very good place to start from so what do we have here let's filter by what we can see and the lines that we have here are two bus lines uh, we got two uh, cargo lines obviously they are making me some profit at least one of them the other one is not really uh, turning that much of a profit uh, as expected, we got uh, bus lanes that are on a massive loss. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, it, it always happens. Every single bus line that I got is pretty much on a loss. Uh, maybe except one or two uh, that, that happens to be successful, but um, otherwise they, they are just bringing me massive losses. Anyway. Uh, we are not here to, to see or hear my whining about how, how successful or unsuccessful my bus lines are. Let's start from uh, that crude oil uh, line, because that is the first line we are going to start from. So we got quite a lot of vehicles here, and they can turn rate of 542. If I could, for example... Uh, let's say remove half of them and perhaps replace them with one of those new ones 40 ton tank truck there we go that immediately look better right let's have a look now so rate has even improved so what I can do is I can remove one of those trucks because I don't need that much of a rate. 585. That is still too much. How much? Yeah, this thing can produce 400, so I'm dropping this thing to 400. I want those incomes. I want those money. Right, 586. Um, if I could remove two of those. Let's see, 419. That is a perfect ratio uh, it will eventually bring me some serious income right now I'm having 20 units more on my rate uh, than than actual production in uh, in oil well which is at, uh, capped at 400 so there is no need for me to transport more than I just need to right another line that is of our interest is second part of this truck line and those are these guys and they are in very good condition because they are on high maintenance 
their finances are not that bad but can I eventually check this line yeah so when it comes to charts I managed to transport about 130 units 134 100 yeah I'm, I'm pretty much never reaching 150 units so uh, that lane has rate of 183 which is way overproductive I'm not gonna lie I do have some extra productivity on this lane uh, but I'm also generating extra costs thanks to that so I will manage vehicles I will remove one of them that is for sure uh, or in fact I will remove two of them and I will replace them with a bigger ones there we go and I'm gonna put them on very high maintenance and this uh, ba, ba, ba. okay and this way we got rate of 134 frequencies slightly lower uh, but thanks to that those two tracks will will be going pretty much full and that is something I want I don't want them to, to run empty because that's that's how they lose me money right we also have buses we got two bus lines <coughs> pretty old ones they got massive rate however let's see uh, they have 238 transported people with rate of 197 that doesn't sound good considering that they have at least six station each on yeah seven stations on on this one so throughout seven station you manage to transport just 200 passengers that is no good I need to cut you short so I will remove two of those buses I don't need them and the remaining ones will be replaced with something bigger I want to keep the rate up but I don't want to have that many vehicles uh, let's let's ask those people to, to wait a little bit so I will use Berkov Duvedets as my uh, as my buses in in this town they will be large enough they have uh, massive capacity uh, but with decreased rate uh, they should work perfectly fine and I will do the same for the other line which is this one so let's remove them two guys and install back of the vedettes with very high maintenance and that is it right so these guys will start hopefully making me some money sometime soon they improved on rate in fact while at the same time I decreased the amount of buses so more of them will actually uh, move around being full or at least filled with some people and hopefully they will start generating me some income or else I'm well I'm not gonna go under but I will definitely not be happy about it right let's see this guy is constantly making me some money and he's not even going full so I'm not bothered to, to actually change him I don't want to change him uh, because there were times where this guy was struggling to keep up with this refinery uh, so I don't want him to, to actually uh, uh, be overwhelmed because I don't have any replacement for him oh there we go we just unlocked ICA 1 uh, which is a nice train we don't need it but we, we've unlocked it woohoo I might do some some works over over my main line later um, however the game recently became choppy and, and there are some plans to do some changes but I will discuss that at the end of the video anyway uh, I believe that 
with change of the buses and and considering that there is not much else to, to change right now we might in fact leave it as it is and let's move to sandwich which is pretty much the center of eastern world in in this map so what we got in sandwich are some bus lines and obviously those are also not really making me any money so let's let's cut them short by at least one bus so i want three buses on each line they are on very high uh, maintenance but they should still be able to to make some money as long as they transport uh, people and the fact that they are not making me money means that they are not transporting people so i will cut them short i will replace them with a newer version or newer bus uh, called uh, ba, 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 where is that oh my goodness me right a uh, new flyer d4 uh, d40 yeah there it is so it can carry 18 passengers compared to 23 that uh, Berk of the uh, offers uh, however new flyer d40 is much cheaper in in terms of uh, upkeep which means that if I will increase that upkeep uh, to, to compensate for emissions and, and stuff uh, my buses will eventually not uh, overwhelm uh, the cost of operating at least that's in theory because right now most of the buses are not making me money right anyway uh, there is one more line that is going the opposite direction and it also needs some love so I will repeat the same process for this line uh, new flyer d40 and maximum maintenance uh, I know I know some people would say yeah but uh, by increasing that maintenance you are actually making yourself lose money and that is true but on the other hand I am keeping those emissions as low as possible especially when I'm traveling inside the town I need my buses to be constantly at the best shape possible right we also got trucks uh, and those trucks are again a bit slow and they are a bit antique <laughs> I'm not gonna lie uh, they got 257 rate and they transported 120 140 right so i will definitely cut them short by two vehicles that is first attempt to fix something and i will swap them with those uh, which ones i want gas 3307 will be my uh, vehicle of choice for for this one and they got slightly less capacity than and then man but they got less emissions and they are faster than the previous ones so it should eventually compensate for each self and 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 it should let me start making some money out of these guys because right now it's a little bit uh, not appropriate what they are doing Right, the last line I got is this guy and he can pretty much stay. He's making me money, he's constantly making me money. There are just two drugs, uh, but they are doing a great job. Right, as I'm here, I've spotted this old fella, which is a rail passenger sandwich to watch it. Uh, it's not going to watch it. It's working ton if I remember correctly. So let's let's fix that one and let's fix those vehicles. Uh, these are very old. They they are at capacity at the moment, and as you can see, this station is also at capacity, which means it's a good time to upgrade. So I will replace all of these vehicles with multiple units, electric and I will install metro liners which happens to be really really good uh, I'm not going to go for ICE because it's a 
high speed train and those tracks that I built for, for those trains are not def are definitely not uh, high speed even though they look like high speed tracks they actually don't support that much uh, straight lines and, and and they are quite curvy so uh, there's no point in buying IC which is 11 million a year in upkeep uh, while uh, Metroliner cost me just short of 4 million per year. Uh, I could go with uh, RE450 commuter train but it's not uh, as modular as Metroliner so I prefer Metroliners in fact. Right so they are all replaced they now have in improved capacity which is very very good they will be able to transport some more goods for me right what is this guy doing okay this guy is going between sandwich and south kirby exclusively and he's not having that many passengers so i don't see any reason to, to actually change anything i will leave him as it is uh, I think that is it. Uh, I don't see any any other trains that might eventually uh, be of any use or concern. What is this? Yeah, this guy is Metroliner again. So that is all upgraded. Right. Next. So now we got Bunsley and Bunsley is a very very nice town. The problem is that Bunsley doesn't have any buses <laughs> from what I can see. I don't see any movement here and for some reason I haven't installed any bus lines in this town. So I guess it's about time to actually fix it. So I will install that medium street here and now it's a good moment to start building things. So I will put a bus stop in here, I will then put a bus stop in here and perhaps a bus stop in here or maybe here. Um, Yeah, I might put a bus stop here and bus stop in here. There we go. And the next one will be right in front of the train station. I don't see any reason why I should um, install any separate uh, like a bus stops or those massive uh, bus terminals uh, if if I can just stop on the street. Uh, it's it makes no sense to, to actually do anything different, right? I can close the window of train 21. It will improve my performance when it comes to my PC because it's it's about to catch fire, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, the game is really, really demanding right now and, and it became a little bit choppy. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, it is really, really bad. Anyway you probably won't notice that on the video uh, I will install this bus stop uh, how do I do that right I will probably split Barnsley into two halves and station will be a perfect splitter so I will have one lane going both direction on this side and one lane going both direction on this side and that is going to to work perfectly fine I guess I guess because I haven't tested that right uh, I will put this bus stop in here and perhaps should I put a bus stop in here yeah sound, sounds like a plan I can put bus stops on those side roads instead of uh, going for main roads it might be much easier to navigate for my buses Right, and that looks good. So now I will have to set up lines. So let's start from the first line. Before I name it, I will just put a bus stops in. So Queen Street and I want to go this direction. So I will go 
Springfield Road, Victoria Street, George Street and Alexander Road and we got perfect square. Fantastic. And that is gonna be called Bus Barnsley and that is is that west or east? That is west and that is clockwise. There we go. And now gonna install a lane that will go opposite direction. There we go. And for some reason my bus decided to cut this road short. We are going to fix it, but I need to first name it. Uh, that is west and that is going to be counterclockwise. There we go. Right, and now how to fix that. So I need to put a device called waypoint and I might put two of them in fact they might find themselves useful now I can manage the lines I need to go all the way up to Barnsley and that is counterclockwise and after Queen Street I need to add station that is one of my waypoints and for some reason my bus decided that it needs to turn around uh, because obviously um, changing lanes in here is is a huge problem for my buses for some reason uh, we got some new new planes and new locomotive which I'm really happy about oh wait uh, but instead I could just go through this road why is oh no I'm not sure why this bus decided to, to just turn around or do something stupid like that try now it right now it's gonna turn around here there is no way I can actually fix it I'm not sure why buses uh, started to do that but recently they are doing that stupid thing Anyway, let's let's uh, not uh, waste our time to, to actually divigate uh, or uh, or think about how to fix this small issue because that is our passengers problem not mine and the buses can still reach the station so I'm not bothered that much. So let's start a new line and this time the bus will go all the way around to to this side of, of the town and it's gonna be called Bus Bounsley East and that is clockwise isn't it yes and there is last one line and this one will go clockwise uh, counterclockwise blah, blah, blah. okay and this way there we go and again once more uh, the bus decided to, to just turn around here I'm not sure why my buses are doing such thing train 23 yeah it looks a bit rusty uh, it might need some some restoration uh, right I will need to install a waypoint then and, and the waypoint should be somewhere here right so that I can call for this bus and that is oh I haven't named it oh my goodness me right so I need to add a station after Queen Street and we need to stop at waypoint 3 or actually go past waypoint 3 because the bus won't stop there good and now again the bus is doing that that silly thing in here I'm not sure if, if the buses are just not not doing so well on on those uh, double lane roads or if uh, if there is any other barrier for them but i'm not going to fix it on 
on the screen. When I find out what it is, I will fix it off screen. Right. Uh, Barnsley, and that is east, and that is counterclockwise. There we go. All four lines are now set up. There is only one missing element, and I guess you know what that is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we got bus lines, but we also need some buses. Right, and the nearest bus depot is in Sandwich. So we need to buy buses from Sandwich and send them all the way down to Barnsley. Oh well, let's just do it. Right. So we are going to buy two back of the vedettes for each line. Uh, that should be more than sufficient. Obviously, they will go on very high maintenance and as the lines will pop up, I will just Put those buses on those lines. There we go. And that's the second one. Hopefully I won't miss any There is a third one. So I need a third one. There we go And the last one uh, very high and bounce like west clockwise. There we go. All buses are on route. And that is pretty much it when it comes to upgrading Barnsley. <laughs> uh, there is not much I can do about this town, uh, at least nothing more at this point. So our next goal will be, let's check what that is. Oh, that is a very old train. Let's have a look. We might, in fact, give this train a little bit of a love. Oh, it's so loud. Yeah. Yeah, we, we might, we might uh, definitely upgrade those two. Uh, they, they look like they are pretty old and rusty. So definitely some sort of maintenance might be needed. Uh, but they are not super efficient, considering that I need two of those locos. So let's see if there's something better to put on 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 charge of this uh, consist. So I will remove those two locos and let's see what we can get. These are locomotives, that's for sure. No hub. Yeah, it's fast, but. It's not much more powerful. Russian class T3 is definitely not the, the way to go. So that's the local we have, which is power of 1200 kilowatts and tractive effort 350. We got two of those, uh, which is not making things easier because uh, two of those means double weight. So if I can find a good loco that will have a lot of power, a lot of tractive effort and half of the weight, I think I should take it. So we got a good candidate in here, China Railways DF4B, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, GE C48 8 watt, yeah. This guy, this guy is a winner, I'd say. Uh, 3000 kilowatts, uh, tractive effort of nearly 500, uh, which is almost double of what we got. However, the weight is not as high as, as the locals that we use. So I will definitely add this one. And for 10 million, I can upgrade this consist to, to actually be even faster than it is. Because right now it can reach a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. That's very, very, very good. Okay, so this guy is done. Uh, he actually pulled us a little bit back. Right, so our next goal is Shanklin. Let's see. Shanklin is a beautiful town in the east that has trams and those trams Let's see. And those trams are down under. They are not making me any money at all. I'm not gonna lie. But let's see at this lane and let's see at the charts. 
those trams still manage to transport about 60 passengers a year. Right. Now is the question. Should I reduce the amount of trams or should I keep the amount of trams and just upgrade them? Hmm. I will just upgrade them, I guess. Uh, there is just two vehicles on each line, which is not much. And if eventually demand will pick up and it won't pick up until I will do some upgrades, uh, then then we can see some improvement. Right, so I'm gonna leave the amount of vehicles, but I need to replace them with something better or more modern. I think we are using KTM ones, is it? What are we using exactly? KTM one, yes. Uh, that's what I thought, right. So, uh, instead of KTM1, which is quite old vehicle, it was uh, produced first in 1947 and we are in 1992. So something a bit more modern, like 1966. Um, I mean, emissions are low, 66 compared to 66, okay. Uh, this one has 27 capacity, pretty much the same as, as those, except LM68, which is at 35 capacity, and emission of just 68. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I would... I would eventually go for LM68, in fact. It has a lot of capacity. Obviously, we are not transfer, uh, transporting nowhere near that that amount. But I could then re reduce the amount of trams to one. So, yeah, let's do it. I will remove uh, trams and I will replace them with LM68. So let's see if that experiment will eventually work. So that's shunting clockwise and I will do the same on counterclockwise line and now LM68 and very high maintenance there we go and that is our upgrade to uh, to those lines let's see if now uh, that balance will go up uh, because I don't want my lines to completely lose me money I can understand that some of them might be a little bit under and not not exactly the most on on the income side but some of those lines are really really going way too far right so that was Shanklin now it's time for Eton however Eton yeah exactly Eton from what I remember has pretty modern buses let's see charts uh, okay so this line tr is transporting around 90 91 passengers yeah there's only one year where uh, where the amount of passengers uh, kicked into 120 other than that so we are on pretty much around 90 90 95 so what's the rate of that lane because it's definitely um, the rate of this line is 105 per, per bus stop obviously uh, we don't need that much oh, new wagons I, I like them anyway let's focus and um, obviously we don't need that much so i will manage the vehicles and i will remove two of them i don't i actually don't need extra vehicles in here I need some vehicles to, to move some passengers around, but definitely having more than, than one vehicle, if, if the line is transporting uh, roughly around 90 passengers a year, which means that <laughs> this bus is pretty much transporting one or two people uh, at all, then there is no point to, to actually keep that, uh, that um, bus going. Um, 
I mean, I will keep one of them at least, so the line will create some demand. And I will replace it with Berk of the Vedets. There we go, so we got one very, very high capacity bus. And I will do the same with the other line, so I will manage those vehicles. I will remove them. Now this vehicle needs to be, gosh, uh, needs to be replaced. And that replaced needs to get some maintenance. Good. So now the now every single stop will start generating more and more passengers because those passengers will have to wait for the bus. Actually, uh, the bus won't arrive immediately. So that is going to be interesting uh, if if any any demand for passengers will pick up in Shanghai or in Eton. The other problem with Eton is that it is not supplied by anything. I'm just bringing some some tools into this town, but there's not not that much that I'm actually transporting. Okay, there is our new train coming into the platform and the platform seems to be just the right size for this train. I really really like it. Right. Anyway, uh, our last stop on today's video will be Workington. That is another lovely town where we haven't been for a while. Although it was not that long because some of the lines are still having quite modern tracks. So let's see, Workington Foot has rate of 480. Let's not go too high, but let's see charts and transported amount of goods within the last two years is at around 430-420. That is insane. Right. I will still reduce the amount of trucks because I believe they are handicapping me. So I will remove half of those at least and I will see what is going to happen. 15, there we go. You guys are going away. I need only 15 of you and I can in fact replace you with something bigger and that's man 19304 which is quite large and capable track and has capacity of 17 but I've been thinking about getting 40 ton tarpaulin trucks here and they would do the job so I will replace those let's see how this how much of an impact this has. Uh, it reduced the rate to 339, so I want the rate to be at 200. 229, okay, and that means we have 10 vehicles. Uh, I think I'm okay with that, so I will leave it like that and let's see if those vehicles will eventually start making me more money than they do. I think I forgot to set them on high maintenance, yeah. They need to be at least at normal high maintenance, I don't need them on very high, because most of the route that they do is outside the town, they are just briefly going through it. And what I might eventually do later is to build some sort of, um, like, well, um, like a round road uh, so so I can just go around but I think those buses need to stop at oh yeah they are stopping in town center anyway so there is no point to to actually do anything and I got another track line and this is oh road vehicle 300 fuel production okay okay that is interesting these guys are actually doing something good 
why there is a rock in the middle of my bus uh, well bus stop in, in the middle of my truck stop can I please remove that rock thank you very much right so I will leave these guys they are pretty modern uh, there is no point to, to upgrade them and I think there was one more train that is still in very need of upgrades that train should be somewhere here. There it is. Oh my goodness me, what have I done? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Silly me. Right, I will uh, build this truck again. There we go. Whew. Problem solved. <laughs> right. Um, I was not intended, intending to, to delete the track, I was intending to click on that train. Okay, so we need to upgrade this old, uh, old chap. Uh, it's running at capacity and it has two vehicles. So definitely some replacement is needed. So I will replace them with Metroliner, which is good old. And so far it haven't let me down so I will do this thing and those trains are now changed and that's I think for for today's episode we have done tremendous work and I think uh, we can wrap this episode in this point while while my train is trying to climb up the mountain uh, in next episode we will probably continue our endeavors to um, to upgrade this line however there is one more thing I'm gonna do in nearby future and it's not exactly related to, to this map itself uh, obviously as you've probably noticed the map becomes a little bit choppy um, there's not much lag right now uh, however at times this this game uh, becomes really really choppy and and it's really terrible uh, when it comes to performance uh, I'm not surprised uh, I'm not gonna lie it's transport fever after all uh, so that game always got very very demanding when it comes to processing power of, uh, of any PC uh, that wants to run it um, especially when when you got into into like years of two, 2000 uh, because uh, AI is start uh, starting to generate a lot more uh, trucks and a lot more cars on, on the road so eventually the game will uh, will require uh, a little bit more processing power than my PC can handle or at least the current one because I am in the process of upgrading my rig uh, to, to meet the requirements of transport fever uh, and as you can see on, on your screens right now while, while we are uh, chasing uh, after, after this train uh, or train uh, the game is uh, definitely losing some frames and, and it becomes a little bit choppy uh, so uh, I am in the process of upgrading my rig and I'm thinking that we will wrap up this series very very soon. Uh, is it going to happen right now immediately with this episode? No. Is it going to happen within the next two weeks? Uh, perhaps yes. Uh, so uh, I'm expecting to, to record at least one more episode uh, in regards to, to this first series of uh, Transport Fever 2 and that is not the end of, of my videos uh, about Transport Fever 2 I will definitely keep uh, keep that slot on Wednesdays for, for this game because it's a very very good and entertaining uh, software or, or, or piece of uh, entertainment uh, Blah, blah 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 repeat myself right uh, it's it's very entertaining game 
so I would like to keep it in, in my schedule. Uh, however, as you can see, um, well, current map can't be really... Well, it can still be continued, however, the game is really, really choppy and it takes whole a lot of processing power to, to actually record that video. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie, I had to record this video at least twice uh, today, which really, really takes a lot of my time because obviously the game didn't left enough processing power for, for recording software or there was any other problems. I eventually had to restart my PC like two or three times uh, in order to, to, to be able to, to actually record this video. Uh, so it really becomes a strain for me to, to record those. But have no fear, I am upgrading my rig and when everything is up and ready and up and running, we are going to kick off with a brand new Series 2 of Transport Fever 2. And this one will be much more uh, themed uh, towards one specific uh, style. So instead of having it completely mixed where I got European, uh, Asian and, uh, and American vehicles uh, all in a single bag, uh, this time uh, in a brand new series I will pick one of them and uh, we will continue within that style. I might install some additional mods throughout the series, uh, mostly visuals, uh, perhaps some vehicles and, and wagons, uh, but everything will be kept within the same style. Uh, so if if I will decide to, to go for uh, a European style, I will keep everything from Europe. So some German trains, some Dutch trains, uh, some some things of which there's plenty of mods for uh, in, in Steam Workshop. But there is also plenty of stuff for uh, Asian, mostly Russian locos. Uh, there are some Chinese locos from, from what I've seen. Uh, so there is some some nice and good stuff coming in. Um, I haven't decided yet how am I going to decide which which team we are going for. I will probably leave it to you. Uh, so with perhaps the last episode of this series, I will probably at some point ask a question and I will request your voice in the comments down below and the most popular comment that that will point out which team we should go for will be the team for our next series anyway thank you very much for watching today's video if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, that really 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 helps my channel grow uh, also it gives you an access to that bell button that will send you a notification every time I upload a new content onto YouTube. And I strongly encourage you to use it and set it for all notifications. And finally, don't forget and don't be afraid to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Later, out.